In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the creative filters on the Canon SL2 200D with an example of each coming right up. I'm going to change here on the camera from manual mode into the creative filters mode. And you can see here now that there's a bunch of different creative filters that you can choose. There's grainy black and white, soft focus, fisheye, water painting, toy camera, miniature effect, and then some HDRs that we'll look at. And don't worry about catching all these now. We're going to go through each of them. We'll start off with grainy black and white. This is one that will basically make your images a little darker and turn them into black and white. And here's a photo of a azalea flower and there's the original. So you can see it did turn it from that color version into grainy black and white. You can also adjust the strength of the effect. So you can see here if you go into the camera you can adjust the level. In this particular case for grainy black and white it's contrast. So you can change the contrast level low, medium, and high. And that just allows you a little more flexibility inside of the camera to be able to change those filters and the strength of those filters. Here's soft focus which basically will soften the focus of your picture. And here's that same flower with the soft focus effect applied. And then there's the original and you can see that the focus is much better and there's much more detail there. Look at the fisheye effect next and this will simulate a fisheye. There's the fisheye effect simulated shot and the original looks like this. So you can see it gives it that kind of fisheye bowed effect. Want to look at water painting effect next and that will make your image look like a water painting. And there's that picture of some bushes. So that's the water painting effect. And then that's the original. None of these will win any awards, but I just wanted to show you what the photos look like. Here's the toy camera effect, which I think is actually pretty cool. If you look, it kind of softens the image and makes it look kind of like this old toy camera. That's the original, so you can see it's more detailed and sharper, different colors as well. Miniature effects seem to work pretty well, and again, you can control these effects, but here is the mini effect. And then there's the original. So you can see it changes a number of different things about the photos. So the HDR standard, uh, again, these photos won't win any contests, but there's what the HDR looks like, just the standard HDR. And then there's the original. Just one note, the flash did fire on this original, so it looks a little brighter. Here's the HDR Art Vivid. So you can see how that looks. You can see it's a little more HDR-ish, HDR-E. And then again, for reference, there is the original. Next one is the HDR Bold. And this one will give you a little brighter, bolder HDR. You can see again, even more of the HDR effect on this one as compared to the original. And then we've got one more HDR here, and that's embossed, and this one is pretty extreme, but there's the embossed effect and HDR combined. And there's the original. I want to thank you for taking the time to view this video. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, please click on that bell icon that will allow you to get all of the latest updates as soon as they happen. This is Phil with Bull City Pictures. I hope you enjoyed this look at the creative filters on the Canon SL2 200D. We'll see you again in the next video.